Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar maintains its bullish stance and still looks towards 68.15.45 as a potential target, having posted a brief high of 68.18 this morning. In light of the pattern, the markets are likely to perceive this pattern as bullish and therefore look beyond 68.45 and up towards 68.90 and reassess. We've seen a bit of a bullish comeback when it looked to the euro after it briefly looked above 101. However, the market's still not fully supportive for the bullish gains, but however, with the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, has retreated from its 20-year highs and currently trading around 107.80. I feel the the hammer that's weak for the euro could actually progress further to the upside if we get a clearance that is of 102.20. The market is still moderately bullish and therefore I do feel that we are looking beyond 102.20 and maybe up towards 102.80. Nevertheless, in light of the pattern, I do like the way it's shaping up. Looking at dollar yen, the market has retreated from its highs around 19.98 and now back towards the bottom of the range, seen around 137, 30, 60 to the challenge. A break there would see further scope down towards 136 to 134, 60, 90, and reassess from there. Finishing off with sterling and also commodities is that uh, the market is slowly progressing to the upside. And if we do see a further upside challenge, that is, I feel that we could see a break beyond 119, 65, and up towards 120, 65, 75. That would mean sterling cash should hold relatively bullish, and if so, above that 154 level and look towards the top side of 155.15 to 155.50. Wrapping up with commodities, well, gold is still relatively firm since it's respected twice now from that level of 1,690. In light of the pattern, should still see further gains towards 18 to 1,728 and reassess. Finish it up with all. Well, the market's bullish again, and no doubt. From this Dragonfly Doji, we are looking towards that top side around $96 a barrel or even $97 before reassessing and see if there's any profit taking or bearish return from that level. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the interest report. I hope you enjoy the great start to the week.